Hey parents, Carmine here with your video review of Unravel. Unravel is a game appropriate for any age. I'm giving it a 5 simply because I think that that's the age that most kids will be able to figure out the mechanics and puzzles. But this is a cute, simple game with no mature content. If that's all you wanted to know, go forth, get this game, and have fun. I enjoyed it for its beautiful visuals, its great soundtrack, and its simple, easy to understand gameplay. In this game you play as Yarny, a small yarn character who follows the memories of a family over the years. At times it presents a warm and comfy environment, other times it's cold and foreboding, but the story is communicated very well despite having basically no dialogue. It's a pretty big surprise that Unravel even exists. I mean, here's what is essentially an indie platformer produced by EA, a big company, and in the past, the relationship between developers and publishers has been tumultuous at best, especially when the developers are small and the publishers are big. There are plenty of examples of developers and publishers having creative differences. If you read up about what's been happening with Scalebound, you'll find some very interesting insight into how they can disagree and what can happen if a compromise can't be reached. But EA and Ubisoft have both been trying to diversify their portfolio of games. EA makes most of its money off of Battlefield and its sports titles, but for a while it's really lacked in really experimental titles. Games that don't have an already established franchise backing them up. Games that can turn into breakout hits if the timing is right. Unravel is EA testing the water, trying to release something that's made with a small team on a small budget and for a smaller audience. So if you've played other platformers like Deadlight and Little Big Planet and want to try something similar, or if you're looking for something appropriate for all ages, give Unravel a try. It's cute, simple, and the kind of thing I'd like to see more of in the future. Alright, I'm back on AAA games now. Up next is Shadow Warrior 2, since that won this month's Patreon poll, and that will be done very soon. After that, I have a number of great games to go through, so look for Gears of War 4 and others in the very near future.